Remember this all started. Oh, they just want to get married. What the? Well, you're just standing in the way because you're just being a bigot and you're a homophobe and you're probably sexist in some form or fashion. And then not long after that, why, why are you being such a bigot? You're just being a transphobe. They just want to be using whatever, whatever bathroom they decide. Okay. It's just a, what's the big issue? Why, why, why are you so scared about that? What do you think they're going to be coming after the kids? Well, here we are, a drag queen's dance in front of babies and toddlers at a Dallas Pride event at the Drag the Kids to Pride event. That's what it's called. And I was going to wait until tomorrow, you know, take the day off or something like that and not look into this degeneracy. And then it immediately started popping up and it's like, no, no, no. It's time to put this on fucking front street because this is just disturbing as all shit. Viral video. Oh, several of them. We're going to go through all of these fucking sycophants that are down there, okay? Just trying to normalize this fucking pedophilia, okay? Because that's, that's exactly what this is. This is grooming and this is a fucking abomination. I, I, listen, I don't have a dog in this race, okay? I don't have any kids that are just going to get fucking put through the ringer like this. And I don't live in Dallas, okay? I don't live in a big metropolitan city where this stuff is prevalent. But just because I don't live there and just because I don't have a kid that's going to be you know, forced to go through any of this kind of shit doesn't mean that I don't have an obligation to speak up against what is categorically wrong with society. There's no more arguments against the slippery slope not being a thing because guess what? We're here and it's as degenerate as it was ever promised to be. The event titled Drag the Kids to Pride unbelievable yep no they just want to live their lives it's just for adults drag the kids to pride hmm oh there's nothing wrong with drag queens just drag queen story time oh they're just they're dressing up and being fabulous and reading them just you know nursery rhymes what's wrong with that it's not like any of the performers have rap sheets and other degenerate activities on their resume couldn't possibly be the case We'll get to there shortly. Ah, uh, that was that event was held at a bar called Mr. Mr. in Dallas, Texas, where families were encouraged to attend with their children. And the people who brought their kids to this event, um, I'm not saying weaponized CPS or anything like that, but Jesus Christ, if you're willingly taking your kids to this event, I don't know how much worse of a judgment call you could possibly be making raising your kids, okay? Unless this is a new form of Munchausen by proxy just because you want to... It's like those fucking goofy broads who have the little fucking uh, purse dogs, okay? They just need little attention seekers. Oh, your dog is so cute. Oh, you have a trans kid. You must be so special. You must be so proud of them because it takes so much strength and courage to come forward like that. Or you're just taking advantage of the impressionability of a small child and fucking their life up for now into eternity, okay? Ugh. Anyways, so their announcement said, their, their, their little banner to drag everybody into this, and no further puns intended, the Mr. Mr. Drag the Kids to Pride show um, provides the ultimate family-friendly pride experience. Oh, it's family-friendly. You know what? Just get, just get a taste of what it's like to be a fucked-up individual. Just go ahead and uh, just, yeah, the good introductory event, you know? The signature event is a family-friendly spin off of our champagne drag brunch. Ugh. Uh, with our resident DJ, Charlie Fresh, uh, playing some of the favorite hits of the local. Uh, Nicole O'Hara Munro, um, Munro sure, uh, brings together some of the best drag entertainers around. Remember, this is family-friendly drag event. Even though I thought drag was one of those like sexual fetishes that some people have. Why are you trying to make this like a, a kid and a toddler event? Oh, because you're all sick groomers. Okay, I get it. Uh, the announcement then invited young performers to take the stage alongside the queens. Yep, this is where it gets thoroughly degenerate. Uh, do you want to hit the stage with queens? No, I don't even want to hit the stage with the current incarnation of queen that's out there. Ugh, Brian May, you're disgracing your legacy by putting up that fucking bloated fake falsetto having worthless sack of crap who couldn't even carry Freddie Mercury's glittery jo or jock strap. Go back to American Idol, you fucking cast off. Anyways, anyways. Oh, we have five limited spots for young performers to take the stage solo. Oh, great. Or with queens of their choosing. Oh, great. Come hang out. Don't literally hang out. That's what's wrong with you. With the queens and enjoyed this unique pride experience fit for guests of all ages. 
I'll let you I'll let you be the judge to see if this is fit for all ages. It concluded as the outrageous video illustrated the event was anything but family friendly. Yes, but there were a lot of butts there. I'm not going to play any of the audio because it's not really necessary. Mostly because it's just loud fucking music and you got, uh, I don't know, these cucks holding their literal kids, literal fucking babies that are there and what? Okay, yeah. I don't know, you got some fucking whale and ugh, they're just terrifying looking people and and yeah, uh, you got like a neon sign in the back there, and you know, what does that say? Well, we're actually going to be able to figure that out shortly, right? And I jump around, I guess. Yeah, as you can see, right? Fam family friendly, right? Yep. Doing the doing the splits in a in a latex and a fishnet getup or a mesh getup at least. Yeah, no, definitely family friendly. That j that screams friend family friendly. I remember at talent shows that we would have during school as well. We had what jugglers, uh, somebody riding a unicycle, and uh, oh yeah, that that was probably another one of the fair that was there as well. But that unicycle probably didn't have a seat on it. Yeah, and then in another video, you have the kids handing over money to this th thing i don't even know what the fuck it is nor do i really care but it's yeah and then just uh shaking it right in front of a fucking kid well they're just uh, uh, at least some of the kids in the background look like they're horrified by this as they probably should be this one right there you know showing off their dance moves i don't want to you know to get ugh, god that's disturbing to say the least but yeah no it's not like they're engaged in any degenerate acts or anything this performer from the children's drag show in dallas texas is albert xavier estrada who also uses the name ariel diamond of course they do uh estrada previous or posted previously about this on his only fans Great, cool. I won't subject that to anybody else. What about another performer that was out there? One of the performers at the drag event for children in Dallas, Texas was confronted is Andrew Carroll, who also uses the name no Noel Sinclair. He said he's becoming an educator, becoming a teacher. That right there is going to be a teacher. Some unsuspecting children. Wonderful, fantastic. His boyfriend, this... Uh, sick individual not for his choices in life it's just the, look at the look at the darkness in his eyes he's just did i think like his terrible life choices are finally manifesting on his face and in his substantive gut i didn't know cum was that fattening but he was running protection for his queen in a video we'll play a little bit of and i might actually get the uh, audio on for this one because it's i guess they're chasing down one of the drag queens or something like that do you like dancing for little children? You don't think that's disgusting? Dancing around for get little the children? Fuck away from me. Don't you get think that's disgusting? I need you to hey, you don't think get that's, the you fuck don't away. Think, hey, well, you can't just touch me. You don't think hey, that's disgusting? Hey, you can't just touch me. You Your mom's a bitch. Go on. You don't think that's ahead, disgusting? Man. Dancing for He's little children. You should, be a, you, you should be ashamed of yourself I dancing don't for don't little children. You should be ashamed of yourself. I fuck him. Child? No. You, got, you guys oh, dance with little children. Oh, you should be ashamed of yourselves. You're disgusting. Think about what you just did. Okay, that's fine, but you dance naked in front of little children. Stop. You did. Stop. You did. Stop. You did. Stop. You did. Stop. 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 You Stop. You dance in front of little Stop. children. Stop. Stop. Funny, right? That'd be the exact same group that would cr or cry misogyny or transphobia or I don't know, to say that uh, if you criticize a woman uh, as promiscuity, it would be slut shaming or some form of fashion of that. But uh, what was uh, the go to insult from uh, this uh, stunning and brave individual? Uh, your mom's a whore, you're a slut, and uh, do you know good dentist? Uh, what about some of the other attendees that were there? Just a nice, strong, uh, good, measured individual like John Joseph Dean here. I don't need to play any of the audio on this one. It's uh, it's a video that kind of speaks for themselves. You can see a very, very, very on the level person. That's right there. Okay, you, you can see his arrogance. Oh, and a little bit of his spit. And you can also see in the reflection there, he's uh, spitting at a woman who is trying to get the picture. Okay, oh, very good freeze frame right there. But that is John Joseph Dean, an attendee at the drag event for children at a gay bar in Dallas, Texas, and salts and spits at a videographer as he was driving away. The 51-year-old Dallas resident works as a senior engineer for the cybersecurity team at Southwest Air. Yeah, no, uh, once again, another after 
affluent white man. Don't necessarily, it doesn't really look like he brought a kid with him, so maybe he was just going to try to get his rocks off at the event, and or maybe he was just coincidentally at the bar when all of this stuff went on as well. But remember guys, pride is just an event, and it's just supposed to be a month dedicated to celebrating who you are and who you're born as, right? It's not supposed to be anything, you know, targeted. And it's not supposed to be anything worse than that. Of course not. Remember what I said? We'd get back to the, what that neon sign at the end of the runway said. It's not going to lick itself. Appropriate for kids, you think? Appropriate for toddlers and babies. It's not good. What is wrong? Ugh. Just think. Just think. These were the conversations, right? How slippery is this slope eventually going to be? Where are we going to end up at the end of this? All of these conversations started happening at around when did the Supreme Court overreach with their ruling when it came to this stuff? 2014, eight short years ago. Eight short years, everybody thought that this would just be some sort of a pipe dream. Not in anybody's wildest dreams could this have ever manifested. Where are we going to be if this continues to go unchecked in another eight years? I, I don't even want to think about that, okay? You want to worry about, oh my god, if you start arming people in schools, you put armed guards in schools, oh my god, it's just going to have more shootings out there. You want to shift the blame onto that? Well, at the same time, remember, there is one that was in there that is on their way to become an educator. So guess what? You can either protect the schools, because guess what? They're still going to be there, and they're going to be the ones teaching future generations and god forbid it continues to get worse that's why if you think it's time to stop it hmm, you gotta start speaking up right now adults can do whatever the fuck they want i don't care about that stuff okay but when it comes to you're directly grooming kids there's no other way to put this okay it was an event designed for kids do we have to go back to the tweet okay babies in attendance kids handing money to fucking transvestite strippers, okay? Neon signs, it's not going to lick itself for an event, remember, designed for kids. The ultimate family-friendly pride experience. You can make that decision for yourself. With all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo, I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.